What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the locations of 5 very rare, secret and unique items of clothing and armor in Fallout 4. So let's jump straight into things. So let's start off with one of my favorite items in Fallout 4. Now this is known as the mascot's head. It is basically a helmet in the shape of a teddy bear's head, and if I may say so myself, it is pretty awesome. Anyway, so to find the mascot head, it is extremely easy and very simple to do. Just go ahead and make your way to DB Technical High School, and once you made your way to this location right by here on the map, you want to go inside the building. Now once you've done so, just follow where I go in the video, it is very critical that you do to make your way to the correct location. But once inside the building, I would recommend getting out a very powerful gun, whether it be an assault rifle or some form of shotgun, as there are quite a few raiders and ghouls and stuff like that, which you have to kill once inside the building. But once you've taken all those out, just go ahead and make your way to this location, and in this room there is going to be a boss named Bosco. Just go ahead and kill him, as he is the guy wearing the mascot's head. And of course, once you've killed this guy, you can go ahead and take the mascot's head from him, and then you can wear it yourself. But there we go, that's how you get yourself the mascot's head. It is certainly a very cool item which you can get in Fallout 4. It is also a very rare item, as far as I know as this is the only way of getting it. So if you do get the opportunity, go ahead and make your way to this location, so you can pick up this item and add it to your collection. Anyway, so moving on to the next rare item of clothing and armor, this is known as the Silver Shroud Costume. It is a two-piece item, so both the costume and the hat as well, and once again it is a very easy item to obtain. So what you want to do for this is go ahead and make your way to this location right by here, known as Hobris Comics. There are quite a few items inside this building which you can obtain which are fairly rare, but just go ahead and make your way to this location, and once again, once inside, just go ahead and follow the direction which I take. There are going to be a few ghouls and things like that inside this building, so again, get out a fairly powerful weapon and take those out just in case they kill you. But once you've made your way to the top of the building at this location right by here, you're going to find a mannequin wearing the Silver Shroud costume. You can of course go ahead and take this costume from the mannequin and then put it on your own character. Now you can also find another rare clothing item in this room, so just follow where I go, come over to this corner, and on this shelf, you'll find the Grognak costume. This being a very rare item indeed, go ahead and pick it up, and it's now yours to keep. Now the Grognak costume is very different to anything else which you may have seen in Fallout 4 before, making this very unique and a very rare item of clothing. Now again, I'm pretty sure this is the only Grognak costume available in the game, and I personally think it's quite cool. I'm one of those people that quite enjoys collecting the rare items in the game just so I can put them in my collection and say that I've got them. Anyway, so that was the Grognak costume, let's move on to the next rare item, this being dog armor. Now I'm not entirely sure how rare this item actually is, as I have seen quite a few of these around the map, but nevertheless it is very easy to get your hands on, so what you want to do is go ahead and make your way to this location right by here on the map, not too far away from Rocky Narrows Caravan Park, so just go ahead, make your way to this location, and in front of you there's going to be this sort of cave area with a dead body and three dog bowls. Now what you're going to find in front of you in this area are three items, these being a dog helmet helmet, a chain dog color, and a dog armor. Just go ahead and pick all of these up, and then you can fit them to your dog very simply by going to your dog, then trading with your dog, giving your dog the items, placing them in his inventory, and then just press the equip button to place the items on your dog. Now although by doing this there aren't any benefits or any advantages to gain, it's still pretty cool the fact that you can customize your dog and give him armor. And it won't exactly take you any more than a few minutes to make your way to this location and pick up these rare items. So it's definitely worth doing if you get the opportunity. But moving on to the fifth and final rare clothing item and armor being displayed in today's video, this is known as the hazmat suit. Now again, I'm not entirely sure how rare this clothing item actually is, but I think it's pretty cool and it's very easy to get your hands on, so let's jump straight into things. So first of all, just go ahead and make your way to this location right by here, known as Hugo's Hole. 
And once you've made your way to this location, you want to go inside this construction site area, where you'll then find a bedroom or some form of living area. Just find the table, go up to it, and you'll then find a hazmat suit resting on it. Just go ahead and pick it up, and it's now yours to keep and add to your collection. So there we go, that's simply all you have to do for the hazmat suit, it's now yours, you can fit it to your character, or do pretty much whatever you want with it. But this has to be one of my favourite armours in the game for the simple fact it just looks awesome, and it's very easy to get your hands on as well. But there we go, that is how you get yourself the hazmat suit, and that is it for this video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys find this video useful to get your hands on some of the 5 rarest and most secret items in Fallout 4. Now if you guys could take a few seconds and if you did click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know which item in Fallout 4 is your favourite. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd really recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Fallout 4 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.